all right guys welcome to another episode today is july the 4th we've had three days in a row with no humidity it's just been a blessing uh just low 80s mid 80s no stuffiness to the air today i'm going where the crowd is not at and well i'm doing something special today i'm doing a triple creek hop i'm going to three totally different creeks and what I'm doing is going up and down just about four or five holes and spending two and a half to three hours at each one. It's three totally different creeks in three different counties. I got about a 40 minute drive in between each one. Two of them I've never even fished these accesses anyway. So it's gonna be a good day. I am targeting smallmouth bass, specifically smallmouth bass. But I'll take anything, but that's I'm wanting a big two and a half, three pound smallmouth. I haven't caught any decent ones this year yet, so that's my main goal. I'm going to be using crawdad imitation crankbaits and swim baits. This is my first spot. This one I have never fished whatsoever, so it should be a good day, guys. I know one of the three will pay off. A little puddle over here is actually pretty deep. There could be something in here. It's worth a try. Oh yeah, I can't believe how deep this is. Wow, just absolutely gin clear, guys. It looks like drinking water. I cannot believe how clear it is. I mean, it's spooky clear. These fish are gonna be smart. I have a feeling. God, and instantly after that, the entire hole was spooked. There's two small mouths right in front of me, three. Got him, small mouth. You little guy, but it's a small mouth. All right. I guess I didn't completely spook him. I haven't fished a creek this clear in a long time. I, I live near some of the clearest rivers and creeks in the country. And this one takes the cake on all of them. This one is just, it looks like water that you just put in a bathtub. It's that clear. All right, guys, got him on that watermelon ghost suicide shed. Oh. Not the hog I'm after. But it's a start. I will get a bigger one today. I will get a two and a half, three pounder today. It's in the books. It's just gonna take time and patience. That was a giant. And he's in a tiny foot deep hole right here oh my god he's seen me though the odds of getting him are very very slim got him oh my god i got him how lucky is that guys nope it ain't the three pounder it's a different one darn hey that's okay though it definitely ain't the one i was talking about he's a good pound though these are almost all smallmouth up here. There's no spots and very few largemouth. This is a strictly smallmouth stream, guys. Yes, I'm on the smallmouth today, guys. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. 
in a hole that was no more than a foot and a half deep. Wow. I was literally reeling it in as fast as I could to keep it from dragging the gravel on the bottom. Now that's just nuts. When they're feeding though, that's where they are. Feeding on them bait fish. again that's a good swim bait this guy's a little better than my first one I'll take him like this all day it's not horrible about three-quarters of a pound half pound 11 11 inches it's a start guys that's all that matters Small mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, I ripped it out of his mouth. Oh, he was bigger than the last one. There he is. God. Oh, gave me a second chance. Yes. And a shadower that's even bigger. Oh, my. The one, f I always, it's always, when you catch small mouth, the one that always falls behind always seems to be the one you wish you got. Very seldom is it the opposite. You always get the little guy that can swim faster and attacks your lure before the big one can. And it sucks because usually after that, that uh, other fish is wised up. He's about the same as last time, about 11 inches. Right at 11. I'm just happy to catch smallmouth, guys. I'll eventually get that big boy today. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. And my swim bait is already ripped. My gosh. It's amazing, these... The lifespan on these is horrible and they're expensive but I like them so much that I don't care just buy 30 and 40 at a time to wear in, in a, a variety of colors at that probably got 20 different colors of them and I buy at least four or five packs of each color when I buy them you're lucky to get three fish out of, out of them it's a shame, but the action and the catch rate on these is just amazing, guys. I've used a lot of swim baits, but nothing beats the suicide shad. Another smallmouth looking at it. The one that followed earlier. There he is. Got him. I think he might stay on. There's one shadower. Two... Yep, there's two other fish in this hole. Hey, I'll take these 11 inch small mouths. I do not care. Do not mind them. Like I said, I'm just happy to be out. Oh, wow, they're loving these swim baits, guys. I think a swim bait is my go-to lure all year round because you do the work. You can control how you want it. You can be fished 20 different ways. If you want to stop and go, if you want to zip it real fast, if you want to go medium speed, four foot down, 10 foot down, you are the controller of that swim bait. Nice little small mouth. They're getting better. He's about 11 again though. but. They're not horrible. There are some big ones in here. I just, because I've walked right past them. They're just smart, very smart in this creek. 
Not because of pressure, but because of clarity. All right, let's get him back in. one out of eight I've missed seven in a row before this I caught him on a pink pulsar with no paddle tail I just don't feel like tying on a new one right now well guys this in spot number one I'm gonna head back to the car get me a drink and go back uh, go to spot number two pretty cool All right, guys, I'm at creek number two. It is five till noon. I'm gonna stay here to about 2.30. Three at the latest if I'm doing good. It's a totally different creek in a totally different county. I fished this about 10 miles down, but never here. And I can already tell there's gonna be small mouth just by looking at it. Now I already see a small mouth, wow. Oh yeah. I'm going to do better here. Alright guys, I finally landed my first fish at spot number two. It is looking like a smallmouth. No, it was a spotted. Okay, a little small spotted bass. And he fell off. Well, he looked like a smallmouth until the very end, though. He was more brown. I'm at spot number three. There's people everywhere. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice large mouth. Hey, it's something. I'm happy to get anything, guys. It's the biggest fish of the day, definitely. Over in this slough off the main channel, real warm water, but it's deep and murky. Yes. Yes, not a spotted. Real large mouth. 
That is awesome. Yes. Ooh, man. About a pound and a half. Now that's something. Finally. On my third place, it starts looking up. Just requires a lot of walking. Just gotta keep walking and walking and walking. And you'll eventually get that fish. He hit that watermelon ghost suicide chat. Not a bad guy at all. I'll take him. Heck yeah. Finally. Now I just gotta get a big small mouth like this. I don't care if it's 13 or 14, just anything. My gosh, they've been horrible. There we go. Yes, another nice one. Oh my, oh my. Oh, it's real nice. Now it's gotta be a large mouth, I would think. Yep, oh my. Yes, it is. And it's just, it looks like the exact same fish. There's no way though. He wouldn't be that hungry to bite twice after being hooked and out of the water. That is awesome, guys. Same exact size. That's a different fish because he's got different fin. He's got red fins at the top. Oh, and he's a little smaller. Awesome. Two large mouths from this one hole. And I've only just begun to walk. Still got a lot of walking to do. But that really helped me, those two fish. Because I put a lot of money into this trip. Done tore my lure up, unfortunately. Not cool. That lure lasted two fish and that was it. Yeah, he's a little smaller, about a pound and a third. And he's got red on his fin right there. Still a nice large mouth. Wow, I didn't think I'd get two from this little hole over here. Yes, small mouth. There we go, stay on. Yes, biggest one of the day so far. Yes, yes, finally, about a 13. There we go. Dude, okay, we get it, we get it. You're caught, you're caught. Finally, what I came after. He's third, about 12 or 13. Whew. Already ruined my swim bait, one fish. That's a shame. Finally, guys, all the patience and walking have paid off. I got what I came for. Uh, I mean, I'd like a little bigger one than this, but it is my best one of the year so far, as far as smallmouth go, except for the ones I caught in January in the wintering home. Beautiful smallmouth. Finally, yes. Awesome. I have been losing every single smallmouth I've hooked. They just keep getting off. That is so awesome. Beauty.
I can get one more fish on this before it's completely ruined. The hook's kind of already poking out the side instead of right in the middle where it's supposed to be. And uh, but I think I can get one more fish on it if I'm lucky. Finally got another, another nice smallmouth on the walk up. Oh, oh, yes, 12 anyway. I haven't even really been fishing much on the way up, I, but I couldn't resist this one because I didn't fish this one on the way down. Oh, he's a beauty. Got him on the pink pulsar. Finally got two decent smallmouth worth mentioning anyway. Wow, finally, my goodness. You talk about having to work for these guys though. It has been that bad of a day, really bad. I had to work and work and work for these guys. Now, if I would have had some creek caught minnows, I could have probably tore fish up. That's what you need to do when it's real slow. He's only actually about 11 inches. That's a nice looking small mouth. I'm so happy to get him. It's been that bad of a day and I put too much effort into this trip to get beat this bad. This is just a tiny little hole right here going around the corner with a log. And uh, he was down in that scour hole. All right, I'm gonna get him back in. Awesome. Let's see if there's one more. You never know. I didn't even cast it really. I just lowered it down where I was at and let it fall with the current. I hit spot number four. I got about one hour. All right. I got a nice one guys real nice as soon as it hit the water I didn't even start reeling in yet it's gotta be a small mouth oh I think it's a spotted but I'll take him that's awesome it is a small mouth yes yes I ended up catching a couple small mouth today with the four different spots, guys. As soon as it hit the water, didn't even reel in yet. I let it fall two seconds and he was on there already. Ooh. <clears throat> 